Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally doing just like a normal sit down video with you guys. I'm so over Vlogmas, it's insane. And I didn't even do it the whole time and I'm just like, oh right. Hope that you guys enjoyed that little challenge for myself. Um, happy that it's over and now I'm excited to finally sit down again in front of the camera and talk to you guys through products, fashion, like all of the things that I love and I'm excited about. Um, I still have my Christmas tree up, but it's only been two days, so all of the little ornaments are off, but we're getting there. I'm rambling. Um, yeah, today I wanted to do my empties video. I did one in June for you guys, so for half the year. And so it's time, um, as we finish up 2018, I thought I'd walk you guys through the products that I used, kind of what I loved, what I didn't. I love empties videos. Like, they are some of my favorites to watch just because I want to see, like, if you're gonna purchase it again or if you really did use it like you know it's better than a haul I think so I hope that you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you are new here I'd love to have your support and let's just get right in the first thing I have that was already kind of in my hand you probably, probably could see me waving it is the Mitchum deodorant in pure fresh so I use this completely up it was really good. I used it because I've never used Mitchum before and I thought that I would give it a try and I liked it. I didn't repurchase it. I think I like Dove a little bit better, but it was worth a shot. I'm also gonna try not to ramble everything and because I have a lot to go through, like this bag. It's not a ton ton, but it is, I like how I, I thought I was going to like save all my stuff and through the whole year, but I felt like that was just too much stuff, so that's why I, I cut them up into two parts. So I did one in June, one now, and I have to say, even like just moving with this like was so awkward. Like I was like, nobody throw away the bag of trash because it's very important. Coming soon, do not throw it away. The next thing that I have is just this Joico um, shampoo and conditioner. I liked it. Um, it's not what I have right now. I didn't repurchase it, but it was really good. And I always love this brand, Joico. Like, you can never go wrong. I also had a huge love fest with Love, Beauty, and Planet. This summer was like my jam. Like, I have so many bottles of this. I loved this brand. I recently kind of taken a break just because I felt like the shampoo and conditioner wasn't as amazing as I thought it originally was. So I've taken a break, but I did, I did love. This is the body wash um, in daily detox and it's just like the tea tree flavor what's another word not flavor scent <laughs> scent uh it was good not my favorite but i did love that brand uh, next i just have a cetaphil moisturizing cream this stuff is always like a must i love just having a big tub of this in my house especially in the summer i just like lather myself in this before i go to bed loved it Ooh, this is also so good. This is making me want summer. This is really sad. Yeah, oh. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. I always get this at like Smith's or, I always get it at Smith's. I don't know where else you can get it. <laughs> Probably Walmart or whatever, but this stuff is so good. It's just a shower scrub and just makes you feel really yummy and like delicious and soft. I love shower scrubs. Um, so this one is always really, really favorite and like super easy to get your hands on. I really love it. I have a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is just a little sample size. When I, about in October, I had a breakout of like these little bumps all over me. So I went to Kiehl's like in a panic. I don't know why I went there, but I was just like, help me. Like, and they just gave me a bunch of free stuff. Uh, so I tried this. I did really like it. It's not what I use now, but it's a good, just like simple, clean facial cleanser. Um, I think I have, oh no, I don't. I also have two of the creams. So the moisturizers from Kiehl's. These again are just little sample sizes that they gave me, which I used in two days um, because I love it so much. This I love to stick in the freezer and then in the morning, just it's like a very cooling, relaxing moisturizer. So that's a little tip. I always love to put my moisturizers in the fridge and it just wakes you up in the morning. Um, then I have a um, L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock. This is a little primer, like illuminating primer. Really good. Um, again, I mostly use like 
glowy dewy stuff in the summer so this was a huge staple for me in the summer I haven't repurchased just because it's winter and I have like other products that I'm loving right now but this is always a quick easy drugstore pickup I really like it this is my Glytone self foaming cleanser if you guys have watched me for a bit you know I love this I loved Glytone it worked so well for me I still really love it it is just a little bit pricier and you have to buy it online and for some reason those are my two favorite two least favorite things expensive and online I don't like that so um, well I guess this isn't expensive I just bought the pack um, the acne solution pack which was like a hundred something but this is like $23 I believe so it is really really good it's heavy duty um, so I definitely recommend it. I'm just not using it at the moment. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. To go along with that is this. This used to be the acne treatment lotion and I loved this. And then this is the um, acne treatment gel. So I used both of, well, all three of these. This is the pack that it came in. Also with the toner, um, which I don't think is in here. Some things I accidentally threw away and it was very upsetting. Uh, but also the toner, which I probably threw away. Loved these things. As you can see, the treatment lotion was one of my favorites. Again, the only problem with this is why I didn't repurchase it. It is so heavy duty and it just made my face like hurt, if that makes sense. Like it cleared it out, but it hurt. So I think it really, you know, did a good job and now I'm able to use a lot of different products that are a little bit more gentler and you know still help out with my skin but yeah it, it went hard it went hard and I'm over it staying with the skincare I have a fresh soy face cleanser this was in my recent vlogmas where I did like a cozy so I think it was like one of the first ones um, that I did I loved this cleanser so much this is just the little travel size um, which is when I you know when I try new face washes and skincare I like to go for the travel size if it's like a good deal like this is pretty it's a pretty good amount so I really liked it um, again with like face washes I don't know what it is I just like to buy new ones right now I'm so big on Korean skincare it's insane I have been obsessed with this um, website it's called Soko Glam I'll leave it below and I just want to buy everything off of that freaking website I watch so many Korean skincare YouTube videos it's like nuts so I didn't repurchase this but I do really love it it's the first thing I've ever used from fresh I just realized I've been talking for seven minutes so let's see this up yeah fresh love it it's really good I also have a different gel this is like um, what is this called kind of like a retinol retinoid situation loved it you can get it at the drugstore it's like 20 bucks works really well I'm not using it right now but I did go through like nine tubs of those oh I also have another Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser so another one of those free buddies I have another body wash this is the coconut water and mimosa flower from love beauty and planet this is by far my favorite scent from them in the summer this is so like yeah I just absolutely ugh, I love this so I will be, be repurchasing this definitely when summer comes around because it's such a good scent and it's such a good like price point so I love it we have kind of jumping all around I hope that doesn't bug anybody but I have a born this way foundation this is the liquid foundation that I use right now I repurchased this I have it in my bathroom right now it's what I'm wearing on my face today I absolutely love this foundation it's like a nice natural finish so it's not too dewy I don't think it's too matte like it's just right in the middle which is what I'm comfortable with and I just love it so it's one of my favorites I have a Lancome sunscreen uh, which is kind of random but this was in my what is it called oh my gosh what is that box called that I get in What is it called? I don't know. You guys will know. What the free? It's like one of those free things where you sign up for it and they send you things. This is so annoying. My phone is so far away. I'm not even gonna look. 
Ah, that's so annoying. But it just came in a little free box and it was like a full size of Lancome. So I was like, thank you very much. And sunscreen. Um, it's funny because this is like really expensive and fancy, but my least favorite sunscreen. I used it up for sure. I used the whole thing, but I would never buy this. I have, let's see, a Love Beauty and Planet coconut oil and ylang ylang conditioner. I also have the shampoo. I don't know where that went, but um, loved it. Again, like I said with the shampoo, I'm over it. It doesn't do the job as well as I thought. If you're going to get something from there, definitely the body wash. Um, I have a got to be fresh it up tropical boost dry shampoo. Talked about this in my favorites video over the summer and I absolutely loved it. It kept my oil like not oily. <laughs> it kept my hair not oily. Oh my god. Um, but the white like residue was insane and I didn't repurchase because I'm using a dry shampoo that I actually really really love. If I end up doing a favorites video I could talk about it there but it is the Kristen or Kirsten S from Target. I can't, I'll just link it below. I don't remember how to say it but this was really good. It's just the white residue. I can't, I can't get off of that. This also was sent to me um, and was in one of the favorites before. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic Primer. So you put this in your hair. I would put it in my hair after I got out of the shower, before I went to bed, I sleep with my hair wet and I spray this all in my hair and my hair would be so soft, so, sorry, so soft, so silky and just like not kinky and funky in the morning. I absolutely loved this. I don't know why I need to smell everything but it's like very nostalgic even though it was like six months ago but yeah this was just a little sample size I saw this at Costco um, I didn't I haven't repurchased it but I did really love this I always just forget to buy products for my hair like shampoo conditioner and like dry shampoo or like my mains other than that I I'm not really too fussy with my hair so I always forget to buy things like that, but I did really love it. Uh, then I have the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. With uh, This is with rose water. This is so good. I loved this stuff so much. I have a different facial mist right... Misc? What is misc? <sighs> I have a different facial mist right now in my bathroom, um, but this one is really good from the drugstore. A lot of my stuff is from the drugstore. Uh, that's where I like to go, and yeah, it's one of my favorites. I have two boxes of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This I use as like to bake my under eyes, like everything just to set my makeup. I absolutely love this. I have two more in my bathroom, and yeah, this is just like my staple. I don't know why I ended up even trying this, but I don't use anything else. Like, I love it. I have another <laughs> Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's one of my favorites. Obviously, I have two empty ones. Uh, it's just like my ride or die, holy grail, whatever those makeup people say. I have a NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in the shade brunette. <laughs> um, I love this. NYX is like my favorite to get their brow pencils. It's just super skinny and thin. I don't like my brow pencils to have like a triangle shape, which I know is probably helpful, but I just like a skinny little one. And this is what I use all the time. I repurchased it. I love it. It's so cheap too. I have an empty, what's this brand called? You guys told me in the comments because it was one of my favorites. Colourpop. Uh, a Colourpop lip gloss in Fairy Floss. The cutest, most perfect summer shade. It is so glossy and wet and like sticky. I just, ugh, I love it. So yeah, I went through this bad boy really quick and definitely repurchasing because I love it so much. I have a, if you guys remember from my last favorites, I just felt like I was holding this concealer with like nine in my hands. I loved the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer for so long. I was so obsessed with the little, the little brush that it came with, like the applicator, I mean everything. I was so obsessed. Haven't repurchased it in so long. It's like one of those things where I was like so obsessed with it and then I just forgot about it, so whatever. Um, then I just have a CoverGirl, this is like completely used off, but this is a CoverGirl mascara and I repurchased it. I love this mascara. It's super, I don't know. I feel like I'm just so weird about my eyelashes. Like they're just so ugly. They're not really long. Like. 
I don't even know what to use with them anymore, but um, this CoverGirl one is really good. I always get it, so I have another one, and I love it. Okay, that was 15 minutes. Hopefully when I edit it, I can take out some of the ums and likes and whatever else I said. Uh, but yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed going through my empties. 2018 was such a good year. I got engaged this year. I went into YouTube again. Um, and yeah, I just, I had a really good year. There was a lot of huge changes and I'm excited to see the products that I use in 2019 where I am in my life in 2019, my wedding, all of these fun things I'm very excited for. I hope that you guys have a good New Year's Eve and a very, very good 2019, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.